Welcome to ASM Tower Software Tutorial Videos. In this video we will learn about the lattice panel geometry in ASM Tower. Presented here is a table of contents featuring five distinct groups of panel types along with their respective start times. Group number one. Let's start defining only one panel. From geometry group, lattice panels group, open panel geometry dialog box. Assume that the base width equals to 6 meters. You can choose number of towers faces either 3 or 4. Set the top elevation equals to 6 meters. From panel type select, a panel. The number of subdivides has a significant impact on the overall shape of the panels. We will explain it in details. For now, set it equal to 0. Set the top width equals to 5 meters. Set the panel height equals to 6 meter. The crank ratio is specifically relevant for portal, crank, XB, and XB1 panel types. However, it does not have any effect on panels with type A. For now, we will leave it blank and explain it later in this video. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. You see the panel is added to 3D view. And these are the main members, main leg, main diagonal and main horizontal. Let's see the effect of subdivide number. Modify subdivide number to be 2. Click OK. In addition to the main members there are secondary members, secondary diagonals and secondary horizontals. The number of subdivisions in the panel is indicated by the number of secondary horizontal members. In this case, it can be observed that two secondary horizontal members have been added to the panel, corresponding to the predetermined number of subdivisions, which is 2. Let's see the different configurations for subdivide. In addition to the default arrangement of subdivide which is the diagonal shape, there is also a triangular shape available. This triangular shape is utilized to reduce the buckling length of the horizontal member. To enable this triangular shape, you can specify the number of subdivides and append the letter T to indicate the triangular configuration. In panel type A, the number of subdivide can be any positive value, whether it is even or odd. Additionally, to achieve the triangular shape, you can append the letter T after specifying the number of subdivide. Modify subdivide to be 2T. Click OK. The subdivide shape is modified to be triangular. There are two ways to define subdivide, simplified way and detailed way. The simplified way is when the user defines only a number for subdivides. The detailed approach involves allowing users to define a combination of diagonal and triangular subdivisions. To utilize this option, users can enter comma-separated values to specify the numbers of subdivisions. This provides a flexible and customized approach to creating subdivisions within the structure. Set subdivide equals to 2 comma 1 t. The triangular subdivide members are added above the diagonal subdivide members. As the default arrangement of subdivide in ASM tower starts from the bottom and progresses towards the top of the structure. Let's see another arrangement. Set it 3, 1 t. Click OK. Click Update. The lower part consists of three diagonal subdivisions, represented by the number 3, followed by a single triangular subdivision indicated by 1 t. Let's see another arrangement for subdivide with panel type A. Subdivide 4, 2 t. Panel type V has the same arrangement as panel type A and accepts the use of both commas and t symbols in addition to accepting any positive value, whether it's even or odd. Let's see some different arrangements for subdivide with panel V. Subdivide 2. Subdivide 3. Subdivide 1T, 1. Subdivide 2T, 2. Two triangular subdivide are added at the bottom, positioned beneath the two diagonal subdivide. Now let's see crank and portal panel types which also accept the same symbols T and comma. Let's illustrate the crank ratio for the crank and portal panel types. As shown in the sketch, it is the ratio of the length of the upper secondary horizontal member to the top width of the panel. Use crank ratio 0.2. Subdivide number 0 is not applicable for either crank or portal panels, as it should have at least one subdivide member at the bending points of the main bracing members. It is essential to add a hip bracing at the bending point of the main diagonal for portal and crank panel types. Now let's see some different arrangement for subdivide. Subdivide, 2 comma 1 t. Subdivide, 3 comma 1 t. Subdivide, 4 comma 2 t. Group number 2. 
Let's illustrate the subdivide arrangement for X and XB panel types. There is a main difference between X panel and XB panel. As shown in this sketch, that X panel, the diagonal members are connected continuously, whereas the horizontal member is connected discontinuously. But in the XB panel, the diagonal members are connected discontinuously, while the horizontal member is connected continuously. And this difference has an effect on the calculation of the buckling length of the diagonal and horizontal members. As a result, Panel with XB type must have at least one subdivide member at main diagonal's intersection point to remain the stability of the panel, while X panel can have zero subdivide members. XB is one of the panel types that affected by the crank ratio. So let's explain it. The crank ratio for XB panel is the ratio of the height where the main diagonals intersect to the height of the panel. We can set it equal to 0.5 if we want to assign the diagonal member's intersection point to be at the middle of the panel. Let's define the crank ratio equals to 0.7. You see the intersection point of the diagonals is shown according to the input crank ratio. Now let's change the crank ratio to 0. If it is left blank or 0, ASM tower will automatically assign it with a value to keep the straightness of the main diagonal members as we can see now. There are two ways to define subdivide for X and XB panel types. The first is the simplified one. The subdivide number can be any positive odd number while even number is not accepted. Such as 0, which cannot be assigned for XB panels but can be assigned for X panels. 1, 3, 5, or 7 which can be defined for both types X and XB. User has the ability to add symbol T to change the subdivide shape into triangular. The second way to define subdivide is the detailed one. Users have the option to use a slash symbol to specify subdivide in the lower part of the panel separately from the upper part. Let's see how the slash symbol works. ASM Tower can create a set of subdivide members with different configurations for the lower and upper parts of the panel using the slash symbol between the numbers of subdivisions. The number before the slash represents the subdivisions for the lower part of the panel, while the number after the slash represents the subdivisions for the upper part. Set subdivide to 1 slash 0. You can see the upper part of the panel does not have any secondary diagonal nor secondary horizontal members. This is indicated by setting the number after the slash to zero. Conversely, the lower part of the panel includes one secondary diagonal and one secondary horizontal member, denoted by setting the number before the slash to one. Let's see another example for X panel. Subdivide, two slash zero. Now you see the lower part has two secondary horizontal members. You can choose one of the lower or the upper part to be triangles subdivide. Subdivide, 2 slash 1 T. You can also use the three options together. Subdivide, 2 comma 1 T slash 1 T comma 1. You see the subdivide members are added according to the arrangement starting from the bottom and going upward. Let's change the panel type to XB. While an XB panel with a zero or blank crank ratio may share the same shape as an X panel, there are significant differences in the design of each panel type. Define crank ratio equals to 0.7. Group number 3. Now let's discuss the panel types A1 and V1. The panels with types A1 and V1 don't accept any symbols and accept only positive odd values such as 0, 1, 3, 5, and 7. You can see the subdivide members of panel A1 have a different shape from panel with shape A. In this type of panels, these secondary diagonal and secondary horizontal members doesn't change with changing the number of subdivide. The main difference between X1 panel and XB1 panel is. In the X1 panel, the diagonal members are connected continuously, whereas the horizontal member is connected discontinuously. In the XB1 panel, the diagonal members are connected discontinuously, while the horizontal member is connected continuously. And this difference has an effect on the calculation of the buckling length of the diagonal and horizontal members. As a result, panel with XB1 type must have at least one subdivide member at main diagonal's intersection point to remain the stability of the panel, while X1 panel can have zero subdivide members. XB1 is one of the panel types that affected by the crank ratio. The crank ratio for XB1 panel is the ratio of the height where the main diagonals intersect to the height of the panel. We can set it equal to 0.5 if we want to assign the diagonal member's intersection point to be at the middle of the panel. If crank ratio is left blank or 0, 
ASM tower will automatically assign it with a value to keep the straightness of the main diagonal members as we can see now. X1 and XB1 panels accept the simplified way which the subdivide number can be any positive odd value, while even value and triangular subdivide are not accepted. And X1 and XB1 panels accept also the detailed way in defining the subdivide members with adding symbol, slash with only positive odd value such as 5 slash 3. Let's see some configurations for subdivide members. Subdivide, 3. Subdivide, 7. Subdivide, 5 slash 1. Group number 4. Let's see another panel type. Panel type, XT. Numbers of subdivide 0 and 1 are only the applicable values for this panel and doesn't accept any symbols. Subdivide, 1. During the finite element analysis of this panel, ASM tower performs calculations to determine the forces in the bracing for each wind direction. If there is a diagonal member in the XT panel experiencing compression load, ASM tower deactivates that member from the finite element model analysis. Subsequently, ASM tower repeats the analysis to redistribute the force in the diagonals. This redistribution aims to ensure that the panel shear force is resisted by a single diagonal member experiencing tension force only. XT panel type requires a pretension force to ensure that the bracing is under tension, and to avoid the stability problems that may occur when all panel bracing are subjected to compression forces in some load combinations. You can assign this pretension force by defining the pretension length in the analysis dialog. XD panel doesn't accept any symbols and only accepts subdivide 0, subdivide 1, subdivide 2, or subdivide. 3. The following panel types accept only zero or blank values for subdivide. XC, here the diagonals are not connected. The buckling length is determined by considering the full length along the minor axis for calculation. C and D panel types have the same shape while the direction changes from right to left. The panel height is measured as shown in the picture. S and Z panel types have also the same shape while the direction changes. The panel height is measured as shown in the picture. Group number 5. The last types we are going to illustrate are the Virendil and extension panel types. Virendil type has a rigid connection between the main horizontal member and the main leg which means that defining a horizontal section is a must regarding to this panel type. In the other hand, extension panel type doesn't require a horizontal member and if it is used, a hinged connection is automatically defined between the main horizontal member and the main leg, which means that no bending moment will be transferred between the two members. Extension panel type can be used when there is a gap between the bracing sections or the bracing members are not attached to the bottom elevation of the tower, as shown in the pictures. No subdivide can be assigned to Virendil and extension. When utilizing a tower with extensions or a Virendil panel types, it is crucial to select design for bending moments in the analysis option. Thank you for watching.